Today is a Thursday, which means a brand new GTA Online vehicle, my friends. Welcome to the Furia. The Furia, I don't even know what I could call this. It's a combination of a bunch of electric cars, also the Ford GT kind of styling, but filled in body lines, I like to say. There's a whole bunch of cars in here, but it's very expensive. Of course, we all have different opinions on what we would like to see added to the game, but the Furia is... It sounds like a quite exciting car, but it does cost 2.7 million. Well, let's pop into that. Oh, it's got Lambo doors. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. We're liking the sound. We're li the sound now sounds like every other super hyper, as I say, supercar in this game. Right. We're going to test, though. Is this thing going to have crystal? Oh, did you see the wing? The wing goes up. Super cool. The plate looks kind of like the, the, the weird stretch style that we get sometimes, where the, the plate is a little bit different. We've got the nice front bumper. It's got some Lamborghini-esque design parts. This... I know someone out there is going to say, well, Theo, it's actually based on this car. Well, I know that's going to be the case, but for me right now, it looks like a a big mashup of a bunch of different ones, which is something they don't normally do. But a big thank you to those that have purchased the brand new merch so far. I, um, I've, I've got a lot of packing to do over the Christmas season. It's only available for another week and a half, so make sure you get it as soon as you can, because then it's going to be gone. Panther.Soul link down below in the description. Right, let's get this pop in. We're going to start with the brakes, because the brakes are kind of needed. I, am I like the Shmi of GTA? Because I have every single car, so every car we have bought... I've, got, I've, I've basically got it in my collection. Now, we've got some nice carbon bits, some nice carbon bits with a, a couple of accents along them. We've got the secondary primary paint splitter, which actually looks really, really good. We've got the secondary color. I'm actually going to put the secondary color stripe on there just because it gives you a bit more options later on. Uh, we've got some nice color-coded diffusers. We've got some diffusers that stick on, opposed to uh, being color match, which I actually kind of prefer... Oh, we got the carbon version. We're going to go for the carbon. Love me a little bit of carbon. We've got some canards on a supercar, which is very often not the case on this game. They're, they're showing need for speed. What's what? We've got engine block customization. We can actually remove the accents if we want to. Not particularly something I'd like to do. I like to have the engine accents. We're going to have a nice engine upgrade. Exhaust system upgrade. You know what to do. We're going to rev the car. Get rid of that smoky old smoke on smoke. We've got some nice oval tips that remind me of an Audi. And where has the exhaust gone? <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's actually amazing. And it's got color-coded as well. We've got the flushed exhaust on the back there. And we've got the carbon flush exhaust. I am not. I don't like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I like the tips on the back. We're going to go for the, the kind of oval connected tips. First option is a carbon hood option. There isn't a full carbon hood. It looks fantastic. We've got the uh, this one, the ri the ridge line hood, which is interesting. We've got some vents, some carbon with some vents, some more vents, some big vents, some offset vents, some carbon vents. We've got all the we've got 15 different hood options here. And quite frankly, I actually like the look stock. I don't know if I like the carbon so much. Maybe I'd like it if I repaint it. So I'm going to come back to that one. Light customization, livery customization. We're going to wait on that as well. We've got mirrors. Let's have a look. We've got the primary, secondary, or stock mirrors. Are the stock mirrors carbon? I can't tell. I'm, I'm kind of blind. So we're just going to leave them as they are. We've got the plate customization. We'll make it a black plate. Hold on. We've got roof customization. Oh, we can make it a carbon roof. Now that is happening. Side skirts, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Hopefully we have something that goes along with Yes. Goes along with what we have on the side. We're actually going to go for the secondary grotty skirt, which is also carbon, but they also have a carbon skirt as well for some reason. The suspension to slam that boy to the ground. Race transmission, turbo upgrade. We've got wheels, which I actually really like the stock wheels as they are. Windows, light smoke. You know how it is. Wait, that's a light bar? Holy... What? I, gen I just genuinely thought it was a white stripe along the car. That's actually a light bar. That is awesome. Honestly, with this car, it could suit many, 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 many colors. But I think my favorite is going to be the basic white. I, I, I know <laughs> I could go for something a bit more extravagant, but something about white on a car like this. I'm actually going to go for the frost white. That's the white of my choice, if you will. We've got the secondary color, which you can actually go through and have a play with. It does have a nice color accent that you can change around the car. So I'm actually going to consider... Probably making that red because the only other color on the car is the red stripe and the red brakes. So that kind of makes sense to me. We've got a nice trim color, which hopefully... Yes, it's just the stitching, which means we can go for a nice red in there too. And finally, it's time for the livery. The livery's got a nice double black, black stripe, white on white. We've got the Italian flag, 
which gives them an idea of what this car actually is, which is very cool. We've got some more race liveries in case those are your style. And we've got this. Ooh. That's kind of funky. I like that. But I'm a boring man. I gotta go for the tricolor. Just because the red accents as well suits it. I wish you could do like a multicolored set around the car on the stripes. That would be awesome. But yeah, I think other than wheels, which I can't change the color of unless I use the the normal way of doing so. Oh, the hood. Of course, we got, forgot to do the hood. Do we like the black on it? I kind of like it without. We've got the ridgeline hood, which I think actually adds a little bit to it without going too over the top. So I th Or... We're going to go for the instep. That's nice. We didn't even go through all the exhaust. We've actually got a couple more dual exhaust options. That's cool. But I prefer the exhaust being at the back. And here we are with the completed automobile. I've realized I got the mask on again. So it's going <laughs> to do this. Effect. I hate this effect around my square. I don't know about you. But look how beautiful this car looks. It look, you know, it'll look even better if we turn the lights on. Oh, yes. Look at that light. I really, really like that design. Car manufacturers get ideas from Rockstar because apparently they're doing it right. Ultimately, though, I, I imagine this is probably from something else. Then again, I've seen the light bars on the back. That's like an Audi uh, VAG group, VAG group, <laughs> VAG group <laughs> thing. And that's something they're doing recently. But uh, yeah, I, I, I've not seen the front bar. Oh, the Tesla truck. I guess the Tesla truck has that, right? Okay, let's go for a drive. See how this thing performs. Hopefully, very good is the answer i love that we have the wing unfortunately we don't have any custom wing options a nice carbon wing or an elevated wing or a slight duck that's what i like so on my lexus rcf for those of you that don't know i had one of those on the rcf you had an option to have a carbon wing that adds on to the uh, replaces the normal wing and it already lips up so as it came up it looked like it came up even more it was super super cool super small adjustment but something i would like to see Rockstar do. It's one of those cars where you can't see the speedo. Why on earth do they do this? Who thought this was the practical design? Someone got the scaling wrong on this. This is not good. I don't know if it's because I've been playing Need for Speed a lot or because I've been playing well, anything else a lot. The speed doesn't feel very quick. The sense of speed feels like I'm crawling compared to what we're used to as of recent, but I'm not going to say it's a slow car because I feel like it's pretty, pretty grippy. And usually when you got this very expensive 2.7 million car that's very grippy and add supercars, they're usually, oh, hang on, bit of understeer, but not too bad at all. I'd rather take a bit more understeer than the crazy oversteer that you get on some of these cars if we can force it. Like this, like that's normal turning for some cars. Like all cars on GTA, I have yet to actually try to uh, look at any of them. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going in blind. I like to go in blind with these GTA car releases with these car drops because they're not real cars. And at the same time, even if I did know, normally I stay very in date with all the drops and all the, the leaks and the rumors and stuff about new cars coming out in games. That's normally what I do. But with this game, I feel I take a bit of a different strategy because I want to, to be surprised. Now, I do know some people have been asking for a Sultan Classic. Now, I, I know that's then probably going to be a car that is in the list of vehicles to come, but I don't really remember a Sultan classic. I only really remember the Sultan as it is as of current as of current because uh, the, the, the first remembrance I have of it is GTA 4 was it in San Andreas. Maybe it was a classic version in San Andreas and Vice City. I don't quite remember, but I'm looking forward to that. Whatever the heck it is, no one send it to me on Twitter because I will fight you to the death. Now, of course, you can actually get this car a little bit cheaper if you do the heist. That's something I've yet to do. I need to jump on a stream maybe and do it with you guys. I think that'll be super fun. I actually do need to upgrade my stream equipment a little bit. I need an extra monitor so I can actually see my chat a little bit better, but that's all going to be coming in the near future. I say near future. I say I'm going to go out and buy it today because it's very frustrating not having to look like this to see my chat. There's a microphone in the way. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. This car is very, very nice. I actually, I really like when they add supercars. Obviously, we had the Vauxhall Corsa added and a bunch of other cars added last week, which were very, very low end stuff. So I'm now, okay, like, sure, bring out the supercars because there definitely are more, more people that prefer the supercars to those types of cars. Our community, on the other hand, is more about those tuners, those rices, those nasty little things that you put on and make it look nice. You could probably make that Corsa look very, very nice. There is a brand new area that I actually purchased where it's got a new garage available to us so we can actually do the heist. Uh, so once I actually start to unlock some of that stuff, we can actually use that new garage. And I think I'm probably going to try and collect a bunch of these DLC cars into one place like I did with the last Casino DLC 
which again was the last DLC, which is so weird to think about. They released technically two casino DLCs in a row. Never would have thought they'd release one, never mind two. But there you go, my friends. This is, I'm pretending I'm not pressing down to see what the car is. It's the Furia. That's what it is. It's the Furia. And it's got cool Lambo doors and it looks awesome. I would highly recommend this car just because of its pure look. So I would recommend doing the missions first to get yourself a nice 700,000 discount. I say discount. I get it at the proper price that it should be because it should not, I don't think, be 2.7 million because that's a lot of money. Thanks so much for joining us, my friend. Hopefully you did enjoy. And as remember, merch link down below. It's very, very limited time. But yeah, thank you for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.